hi it's been too long welcome back to my channel uh thank you for your patience and thank you for clicking on this video and watching it has been a minute since i have uh come to my youtube channel and actually put out any content i really just wanted to do an update video with that being said it will be an update video but i also wanted to kind of vent i don't know if it's really venting but i'm going to just share some feelings with you but yeah first with the update i uh last saw you guys i think when zion may have been bless you six months she's actually right here sitting down watching her uh show she was playing something on the tablet but yeah so now she's a year old her first birthday just passed in september um she's a smart little child i love her of course um but yeah she's my pal we spend all the time together we match because we're just like that much of besties and yeah she um has about eight teeth uh she walks wonderfully she actually runs if she can she is a i let her eat um I baby led wean her as far as eating. I let her eat whatever, you know, she grabs. So I'll put a plate of food out for her and let her determine how much of that she eats. And it also lets me understand what her likes and her dislikes are. So yeah, it's been fun giving her that independence. Um, She's now at the age or at the point of being one years old where she wants to practice using utensils. So that's fun and messy. And um, what else? I'm just trying to think. Yeah, she's... um. Now she's trying to tumble, probably get some videos of that. I'm I'm probably going to, you know, get my act together. It's that that'll come with the venting, but um it's been tough to kind of get back into the swing of things, especially being a stay-at-home mom with such a wonderfully active child. Zion keeps me on my toes. She is a ball of fun. She's so energetic. She just loves to do things. We love to take walks outside. She loves being outside. Um, she loves the water, she loves swimming, she loves playing in water. Um, yeah, she's uh, she's fun to be with, so I'm looking forward to filming more of our interactions out in the world. Some SeaWorld, yep, yeah, some SeaWorld, some Universal. Say hi. Say hi. Okay. Rude. And you cooking? Wow, you're cooking. I think she wants to get in my lap. Or just in front of me. But, um, yeah, I don't even know if you guys saw that she was actually a redhead last time. Her hair... Ooh, okay, it's not grill time. Her hair has uh, slowly gotten brighter and brighter. And we and Zion still nurse, so that's what she's about to do right now for breakfast. But, um... Yeah, it's it's hard to do an update really because I haven't really been keeping track of things to just like splurt them out at the, you know, drop of a dime. I should have prepared this, but it's very last minute. Just thought you guys owed or I owed you guys some type of update, some type of um I don't know, explanation for the gap. But um yeah, it's just been really fun with her. I've been, you know, staying at home, working at home, being a mom, being a wife. Um, really just trying to uh, transition better into this whole role of being a mom. It's fun. It's very fun. Um, there was an interview that was uh, posted onto Facebook and on Instagram. I think I saw on both places uh, that Meghan Markle did. And um, the reporter, the the... Uh, interviewer asked her about um, being a mom is she okay and it was I got emotional watching that video because when she said that not a lot of people ask her how she's doing and if she's okay it it you know it registered with me because I have a wonderful support system in my mother and my husband who I see daily and are there for me to help take care of Zion and those are probably the only two people who you know ask you know and, and concern themselves with my well-being um my mom she's done this three times she has three kids so she i appreciate a lot 
um, I love having her in my corner because she's made it easy. And I'm sorry, I'm coming out of a cold. I'm coming, I'm getting over a cold. I don't know how you're supposed to phrase that, but that's why you may see me kind of like uh, trying to catch myself because I'm not trying to sound stuffy on here and because I'm getting emotional, my nose is starting to get stuffy. But um, yeah, it's it just that seeing that interview or that snippet, I didn't see the whole interview. But seeing a snippet of the interview with Meghan Markel, it just made me really think. And I have um, I have a lot to, you know, think about when it comes to how I feel and, and, and how I process my feelings when it comes to being a mom. But that allowed me to kind of like focus on the one, you know, the one thing. Am I OK? And am I prepared for this? Because, you know, it's it's. It doesn't seem like a lot to juggle to people on the outside, but you kind of lose yourself a little bit when you become a mom. You you wrap yourself 100% to your child. You want to be there for your child. You want to, you know, make sure that they're doing okay. You want to be, you know, 100% involved in everything. And you sometimes lose yourself. And then when you find time for yourself, you feel guilty. I feel guilty when she's knocked out on the bed and I'm in the shower. I need to bathe. Why do I feel guilty that I'm not in the room with her? Why do I feel bad? Oh, I'm in here taking a shower. She could fall off the bed. She could wake up and fall off the bed. She could, yes, she sleeps on the bed. I, don't come for me. And if you come for me, don't come for me right now. But yes, my child sleeps on my bed with me and she, you know, she does get monitored. Anyways, that's not the topic of discussion. She's all right. Right, Zion? I like sleeping on the bed. Ain't nothing wrong with me sleeping on the bed. I can get off the bed by myself. But um, anyways, yeah, I just, you know, I get paranoid. I get so, I get so concerned that, you know, I'm being selfish. And I've talked to my mom about it. I know I'm not, but it's just hard. It's hard when you don't know how to feel you you know this is my first time doing this i don't have any experience with this you're okay you're okay i don't have any experience with this so it's very hard and if there are any new moms watching this any moms who aren't new moms just know that you're doing fine you're doing a wonderful job you're doing amazing you are amazing and it's it's not easy. I, I don't even have enough experience under my belt to really feel like I'm qualified to encourage other people and let them know that it's okay. But being a mom to this beautiful little bucket of energy, I want people to know that, you know, you're doing wonderful. As long as you love them unconditionally. She, she agrees. As long as you love them unconditionally, you're not doing anything, you know, wrong. And, um, yeah, just, you know... That interview just really made me think, like, it may just be the the thing that I felt helped me want to vent, but I just really feel like moms need to be, people need to be concerned with moms more. Like, I feel like there should be a lot more, are you okay? Are you doing, how are you doing? Is there anything that I can help you with? Especially if you see somebody in your life that's, you know, a new mom and they don't seem to be okay like it's 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 really easy to you know put on a face and make it seem like everything's all right but if you you can i i know people feel the vibes there's times where you can just tell that somebody's not okay and even if they seem okay just ask anyways it wouldn't hurt you but new moms we need the love especially because you know we're not doing it alone most times but there are times when you know mothers have to do it alone and there's times when we feel like we're doing it alone or we just feel alone. That's happened to me several times. I stay at home with her all the time. I spend 24 hours a day with my daughter. So there are going to be times where I do feel a little like I have no freedom. It's tough, but it comes with the territory. But yeah, let me just wrap this up because I can't control how congested I'm getting and... Her book is almost out of pages. So, um, mm. like I said, 
I love being a mom. I feel like this is the most amazing thing that's ever happened to me. Um, I was not prepared. Nobody is prepared. It's very tough to take on a, a role like this and not feel like you've lost yourself. So I want to encourage other moms to do what I'm trying to do. And that is, you know, get back into myself. That doesn't mean I need to leave her behind. I'd like to, you know, find my identity again with her, you know, in tow. And that, for me, it means getting back into my YouTube and back into, like, my painting and my other crafts. You're just trying to get a hug. Oh, that's my sweet girl. That's my sweet girl. But, yeah. Being a mom to this thing, this little thing one, she's fun. I love being with her. She likes being on camera. She just don't want to act like it right now. Because usually she's loud when she's on camera. But yeah, I wouldn't trade it for the world. I just know that it is going to take some time for me to not feel like I'm not Megan anymore. I know I'm Zion's mom, but I'm still Megan. Um, so I just want to get back to that. And I encourage any moms who may you know, be at the same point I am with a one-year-old. You may have a newborn and you're freaking out like I did when I walked in the house with my child. I sat her down on the bed. Um, five seconds later, I was like, what the hell am I about to do? Like, what's going to happen? I don't know what I'm doing. And just know that that may never pass because I still feel that way. But um, you're, you're doing great. It's Like I said, I feel 100% better knowing that I have my mom here to let me know I'm doing good but I know that I love Zion and I feel that she appreciates that love there's the way she looks at my eyes and I feel that she knows 100% that her mommy loves her so as long as you love your kids you're doing good so yeah with that being said um I'll go ahead and wrap this up before I start getting emotional because it's coming it's coming that's why my left nostril is stuffed because the waterworks are forming so I hope you like this video. I promise I will be back on my Shiznai. Um, Zion will hopefully keep me on my toes. And um, yeah, you'll see more of us soon. Especially because Halloween is coming. So it's time to go eat breakfast, huh, mama? So uh, please like this video and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching. Feel free to comment below if you're a mom and you're going through it or if you can relate in some way or if you have any advice for me. Um, yeah, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can see more of us in the future. Say bye, Zion. Say bye-bye. You gonna wave bye-bye? Go ahead. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.